This time we're going to have the election of officers and the nominations are now in order for the office of president of the Southern Baptist Convention. The chair recognizes Brad Jerkovich, messenger from First Baptist Church, Bossier City, Louisiana, for a nomination. Messenger from First Baptist Church of Bossier City, and President Gaines and fellow messengers, it is with great enthusiasm that I submit the name of Dr. Ken Hemphill as the next president of the Southern Baptist Convention. Four months ago, a pastor friend of mine said to me, Brad, the real question we all need to be asking about elections like this is, who is God seemingly raising up at this time, at this moment, to lead in this capacity for our convention? And so to help Southern Baptists answer this question, my church hosted both J.D. Greer and Ken Hemphill for live interviews. Because this election is pivotal. It cannot simply be about our trying to make a statement to the younger generation. If we make this about it's time for the old guys to let go, move on, you've had your chance, then we will undermine our unity and exclude great leaders. We need both Joshua and Caleb and Moses and Aaron. Every generation matters. And this election cannot be about one candidate's act of graciousness two years ago. That was a cool moment, but a lot's happened to our Southern Baptist Convention these past two years, and we face a collision of crisis today. Our convention needs to fill three major presidential entities. Our convention is being challenged by division following an American presidential election, by differences in theology, and we are constantly being challenged and divided by some who believe our past mistakes are what define us. We need a leader who has the capacity, the wisdom, the experience, and the time it will take. And yes, we need our president to invest time in our convention. Why? To build relationships, to speak into all of these entities. And I believe God has given Southern Baptists a major gift of leadership at this time in Ken Hemphill. Why? Ken has a powerhouse family. He's been toward thousands in ministry through his life and the over 40 books that he's written. His wife Paula has mentored countless women and together they have modeled the value and respect of men and women. Their three children are all serving the Lord in a dynamic way. Every church Kenneth's pastor has grown. He knows the pressure of smaller churches and of growing and leading a megachurch. First Baptist Church of Norfolk led their state convention and baptisms year after year. Throughout his ministry, he has led in racial reconciliation efforts, and I know he will do that in the future. Pastor or president of Southwestern Seminary, everywhere Ken leads, there is evangelistic zeal and a passion for the nations. Ken Hemphill has the credibility to challenge and equip all Southern Baptists in cooperative program giving. When he pastored First Baptist of Norfolk, Virginia, Virginia he increased their CP giving from 5.9% to over 10%. He's averaged over 9% in every ministry he has served. This credibility is vital because Ken knows what it will take to see our church planning movement continue to thrive, to see our missionaries continue to mobilize and stand strong, to see our seminaries be able to equip future generations. And Ken understands that through the cooperative program, every church plant is our church plant and every missionary is our missionary. He was unashamed in the convention in the 80s to stand for the word of God. He's unashamed to tell the world Jesus Christ alone is the only savior and the one who can save all. And he's unashamed to be a Southern Baptist because he knows who Southern Baptists are and he's committed to lead us in the future. Fellow messengers, Ken Hemphill is God's gift to Southern Baptists today. Well, good afternoon. My name is Ken Witten, messenger from the Idlewild Baptist Church in Lutz, Florida. This is a critical moment and a watershed election in the life of our convention. Make no mistake, the needs are great. We must, yes, sir. Yeah. And I did not mean to do that, but I, he's telling me I'm supposed to say who that was, and then I'm going to introduce you. Stand right there. We'll start your clock over. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm good friends with him. All right, good. Chair recognizes. Ken Hemphill is nominated for the president of the Southern Baptist Convention. 
This time the chair recognizes Ken Witten, messenger from Idlewild Baptist Church, Tampa, Florida. Ken, come. Well, good afternoon again. My name is Ken Witten, messenger from the Idlewild Baptist Church in Lutz, Florida. And I believe this is a critical moment and a watershed election in the life of our convention. Make no mistake, the needs are great. We are a denomination that must remain convictionally strong and confessionally true with an evangelistic zeal that takes the gospel of Jesus Christ to every nation. The day dictates that we become more generationally inclusive and relationally and racially diverse in membership and leadership. And it is for this reason that I am literally driven to the one man that I believe has proven that he fits the bill in every way and why I stand here today in place in nomination, Pastor J.D. Greer from the Summit Church in Raleigh, North Carolina as the next president of our Southern Baptist Convention. When I think of J.D., I think of three words. I think of integrity and clarity and unity. J.D. Greer will lead us forward in those three ways. Integrity is when the tongue in your mouth and the tongue in your shoe go the same direction. It's when you walk your walk and it's when you talk your talk. It's when you say that the gospel is above all and you've led your church to baptize 1,300 people in these past two years. It's when you say that we ought to plant churches and you've led your church to plant 42 Southern Baptist churches and you've just sent out your thousandth member from your fellowship. It's when you say to your people, you know, we ought to all be more involved in missions and you were an IMB missionary yourself and now you have 158 members of your congregation serving with our IMB, which by the way is seven times more than any church in our Southern Baptist Convention. Integrity is when you believe your denomination ought to be more racially diverse and 17% of your church is non-white with a Hispanic and a Mandarin speaking congregation. And lastly, integrity is when you say to a younger generation, you know, we all ought to give more to the cooperative program and you've led your state in CP giving the last two years. And that's why Milton Hollyfield, the state executive director of North Carolina said, I wished more pastors were like J.D. Greer and more churches like the Summit Church. Now listen to me, those statistics can be intimidating, but J.D. Greer does not find his value in nickels and noses. He finds it in names and in nations, and he'll lead us with integrity, but he'll also lead us with clarity. He's a gospel preacher that believes the Bible is the inspired, infallible, inerrant, and full plenary word of God, and he will continue this convention's unquestioned commitment to the truthfulness of God's word. He's a whosoever will gospel preacher, and he believes that anybody, anywhere, at any time can be saved. Now listen, Greer's been clear where he wants to lead us as Southern Baptists, and that's back to the heart of evangelism and missions. But he'll also lead us, lastly, forward with unity. Two years ago, when J.D. voluntarily withdrew his name for the nomination and asked us to elect another great leader in Steve Gaines, he recognized that a house divided could not stand. And in one selfless, glorious act, he didn't just talk unity, he walked it. And he took a win-lose situation and he made it a win-win situation. And my friend, that's a unifier. And that's why JD's wife, Veronica, has loved him in an 18 years of great marriage and his kids, Karis and Ali and Raya and Adam have too. And it's the same reason why the church summit has seen it up close and personal for 16 years. Messengers of this great convention, JD Greer is the right man for the right time. And we need a leader who will lead us with integrity and clarity and unity. And God help us have unity. And it's for this reason I ask you to cast your vote with me for the 60th president of our Southern Baptist Convention, Dr. J.D. Greer. But here's what you need to know. If he wins, he cannot sing and he cannot play the guitar. Thank you. <laughs> J.D. Greer is nominated. Are there further nominations? There are none. There are none. The chair recognizes the registration secretary for instructions on casting ballots. Thank you, Mr. President. At this time, we have registered 9,467 messengers. Please take out your ballots. I hope you have checked them over already. You should have ballots that are number 
1 through 10. If there are any problems with your ballots, please go to the registration booth. Now turn to ballot number one and tear it out of your book of ballots so you will not get it mixed up with the other ballots. Every year on the first ballot, people will turn in all of their ballots. Please do not do that. Again, you're laughing, but it happens. All we want is ballot number one. Listen carefully for the instructions so you know how to vote according to bylaw number 10, item F, in order to cast a ballot, a messenger must be present at the time a vote is taken. Voting by proxy is not allowed. You'll notice across your ballot there are nine box numbers. Listen carefully to my instructions. To vote for Ken Hemphill, plate place an X on the box number one. To vote for Ken Hemphill, number one. To vote for J.D. Greer, place an X on the box number three. For J.D. Greer, number three. At this time, when you're finished, please pass your ballots to the right. Then the ushers or tellers will be collecting these ballots. Thank you, Mr. President. Repeat the instructions one more time. Uh, Just which, which space they mark. Ballot okay, number okay. one. Okay. Okay. I've been requested to repeat. For Ken Henfield, place an X on the box number one. Number one for Ken Henfield. For J.D. Greer, place an X on the box number three. Number three. Okay, and, and it's ballot number one. <laughs> we'll give you just a moment as we collect the ballots. If you're still holding ballots, would you lift them up so that they can receive them, please? Okay, thank you. Chair recognizes D. August Boto, Interim President and Executive Vice President 